What's up everyone, welcome to Car Life. I'm Sammy D here, all things Mario Kart and Mario Kart Tour. Today we're talking about the upcoming anniversary tour. Very excited, gonna take a look at the preview of the new tour. I have not looked at it yet. And today we're gonna talk about the 10 things that need fixing in Mario Kart Tour in year two. Now look, I'm one of the most positive guys out there. I celebrate this game all the time and all the great things about it. I stick up for it. I've defended it since day one. I just the other day did this video where I talked about all the best moments from the past year. Today, we're gonna look at 10 things that truly, truly, truly need fixing in this game. And I'm not talking unrealistic things. We're gonna get into it. But first, we're gonna take a look at this anniversary tour preview. I wanna welcome a couple new members and talk about a couple other things. First of all, the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, the A AR toy that is coming out. It's a game for your Switch with these toy cars. New trailer just dropped. Oh my gosh, it's pretty cool. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have to cover it somehow. I need to break down this trailer for you guys, talk about the items, the tracks, the, the track themes, the character costumes. There's some really cool stuff coming in and uh, we're gonna have to break it down. So hopefully stay tuned for that sometime in the next week if I have time between now and anniversary, which is the longest wait. It's good to see you all again. Hello in the chat. Um, shout out to my new members, J2O, thanks so much for coming on board the pit crew. So glad to have you. And Caleb Funhouse, thanks so much for joining in. Hope either of you are in the chat so everyone can give you guys a big celebration for joining up on the pit crew. If you wanna join my memberships, they're available with the join button below. And the pit crew gets on air shout outs just like that. Also added to my friends list, if there's room. Right now, we are closed. Although before the next tour, I think one or two slots have opened up. I'm gonna sub in the next people in line. So we will get into why they should add more friends in Mario Kart Tour a little bit later. And yeah, if it's your first time to Kart Life, um, I've been covering Mario Kart Tour ever since February and we're into year two, about to kick off anniversary tour. I do tour previews. Um, I've scaled back the rank cup breakdowns just because life has gotten a little crazy for me and it's been a lot easier for me to do it this way. Thanks so much for y'all's support, your understanding, uh, your enthusiasm about what I do here and on the Discord, no matter what. So you guys are awesome. It's been great to talk to you on the Discord and let's get into it. Let's go. I cannot wait any longer to open up this tour preview. We know it's the first anniversary tour, of course. Uh, announced early last week but we're gonna see if they show anything else. Probably they're gonna show a couple of the city tracks. We know, at least from last week, that it looks like all the city tracks are back. But what else will they show us and what does the Twitter have to say today? The Japanese Twitter account or the US Twitter account, they often will post a new image at the same time showing some of the new characters. Will we see a gold Mario? Will we see something crazy? Will they give us any information about what to expect in this tour as far as pipes go or bonuses or shop or anything like that. Let's get into it right now. Here we go. Preview. Oh my gosh, it was so hard to not click this earlier this morning. First anniversary tour, Hakama in the house, Peach Vacation, Pauline Bus Driver, Waluigi, Rosalina, Aurora, a bunch of fan favorites right there. We got New York Minute. It probably is... Oh, okay, let me read this text. Login bonuses along with a limited, limited time event have been extended to 14 days with a special lineup. Interesting, it's very vague. Uh, what's more, all rewards will give you rubies in the anniversary challenge that will appear alongside the usual tour challenges. Interesting, hope you look forward to it. So, so it sounds like the tour challenges, um, two pages, they'll be like week one, week two, and then gold challenges, they might all get rubies. That's pretty amazing. Wow, what's the special lineup? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Any other hints? No, there's no other hints. But what can we see? Is there anything hidden in here? I don't think there is. I mean, I see everything. Got these five characters. We got uh, some cards, the Kabuki Dasher, the Macaron. Um, yeah, the Comet Tail. Anyway, limited time event as well as long end bonuses have been extended to 14 days with a special lineup that's so vague. Okay, thoughts in the chat on what this means? Any theories? Let's go to the Twitter now and see what they uh, have found, see if there's anything new there. All right, so the English Twitter account just says the same thing. What is the limited time event? I mean, am I missing something here? Is it the token event? I'm not sure. Maybe there'll be a special token shop. Um, but yeah, no news there. Five city tracks, so that would in not include LA. We got. New York, London, uh, Tokyo, Paris, and Vancouver. So 
LA will get a break right after this. So make sure you get the LA XP. And that's all we got. You gotta always click this translation button on the Japanese Twitter because uh, sometimes, ooh, look, making the lineup more luxurious and affordable than usual. See, there's always different wordings in the Japanese. So that implies that the event, hmm, bonuses might be higher for coins or rubies. And then the token event might be like really cheap, good stuff. Um, interesting, interesting. More affordable than usual, keywords there. Okay, save some coins. I'm definitely saving coins. I passed up a super ticket in my store yesterday just to save some coins for what might happen to anniversary. All right, so with that, we're gonna get into the 10 things that need fixing in Mario Kart Tour. Yes, there are lots of things we can talk about. I want to be very realistic today. This is not about adding Kamek. This is not about adding Coconut Mall or any characters or any tracks for that matter. I've done a lot of that kind of like dreaming and speculation and predicting, but that's none of that's gonna happen here today. We're talking about realistic fixes that the game needs to actually address, okay? Before they do any of that fun stuff. This is not about adding gifts to the game between friends which i've already said would be one of the biggest game changing things they could do in mario kart tour would be so fun i can't keep talking about it or else i'll get really sad and disappointed it's also not about adding time trial mode which would be so cool and a thing that's defined mario kart ever since day one it'd be so easy to add a time trial ranked mode but we're not talking about that we're also not talking about the replay function which could be a great way to watch your race again take a screenshot of your favorite moment no, we're not talking about these things. It's not about unrealistic fixes. A lot of people want lower prices on the rubies, the rubies to be cheaper, the bundles to be cheaper. Guys, this is not gonna happen. It's not about the daily selects changing, the premium pricing of the daily selects. They would not go back on that now. Daily selects to me are fine. That's my personal opinion. You know, they've brought in the additional daily selects like everyone wanted. You know, they put them at a higher price like some people wanted, and there we go, that's where we're at now. It's honestly not about the bots for me either. A lot of people are saying, fix the bots, fix the bots. I don't know how to even address that, guys. Like, you can beat the bots. Um, we beat the bots every week. If you keep grinding, you can beat the bots if you're good enough. And this is not to disparage anyone who's having a hard time with the bots. Believe me, I've had hard times with the bots but I don't see them dialing the AI difficulty down. I just don't see that happening. They've kept it where it is for quite a long time. Sometimes it feels worse than other times, but we don't really know the methods of the madness behind all that. We don't know what the man behind the computer is doing. If he's listening, man behind the computer, dial it down a little bit, sure, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. So that is not part of this list. Also not part of this list is just fixing the controls because the controls suck. Again, I don't know what to say about this complaint. I think the controls are really good. I mean, the controls of this game are what made it so good. I was not expecting this game to have controls this good. The item tapping, sometimes, yeah, we have an accidental item usage, but I don't want an item button personally. Uh, anyone else agree with me? It would be specific to have to hit a certain point for the item, whereas right now we can hit wherever we want and swipe up and down. There's a certain flow to the controls that we've all learned and mastered. Yeah, there might be a glitch here too and an accidental finger miss swipe or you might turn the wrong way every now and then, but you know, just do another run. It's just like anything else. You might drop your controller while you're playing uh, N64 or something like that. So I don't know what to say about the people that want the controls to be fixed because they suck. It's just not gonna be on this list. This is my personal top 10 of things that need fixing. I don't know what to say about that. It doesn't make my cut. That's all I gotta say. But I think you'll be happy to hear the things I am gonna suggest. Let's talk about controls. There is one thing in the controls that I think they could fix. When we go to landscape mode, the brand new landscape mode, this is my number one. These are in no particular order, of course. But when we go to landscape mode, the left right controls guys it's it's not good um they need to do an option where it's the other way around some people do not want to drive on the left side or tap on the right or vice versa we want it to be customizable it really should be either way yeah they rolled out landscape mode in a way that seemed a little bit unfinished we don't have any of the menus in landscape mode and stuff and honestly i don't see them developing the menus in landscape mode i don't see that ever happening but at least when you're in landscape mode to make it really playable for everyone, just make a little adjustment that seems pretty easy to switch those left right controls if we want to, okay? Okay, number two is right off the bat, we need to fix some known bugs in the game. And there's a couple that are just unforgivable. The super horn glitch. It's not only one super horn glitch, there is now a second. Here's what happens when you're holding a super horn and you have auto item turned on, 
that super horn will stay in your little item bubble up there and you will not be able to earn a frenzy. It does not go away as auto item. I don't know why. I don't know what's involved in this. I know a lot of gamers sit back and complain about all the things that the developers have to fix. They're actually a lot harder to fix. So believe me, I understand it might be difficult. I have patience about this, but this has been going on for a long time now. I think months, this super horn staying in the auto item thing. So please, can we fix this? It's just an item. I mean, I would rather you remove Super Horn from the game than have this happen, especially now that there is a new bug that Carlos discovered and then I experienced the night as Ranked Cup was ending on a record run. And guys, this is so evil and twisted and like man behind the computer at his like unlocking new level of power. You, you have to see it to believe it. And honestly, once you see it, you'll be scarred because it's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> um, when having the super horn in first place on some rare occasions, as you're about to cross the finish line, you will remain frozen in place. Like literally your cart will stop moving. Like Kylo Ren has you in a force choke death grip and you're frozen and everyone passes you and you die and the game's over. It's what? I've never seen anything like it in Mario Kart Tour. I have no idea what's going on, but it seems to be related to the Super Horn again. What? Fix the Super Horn. Fix these two glitches. We got to do this now because I lost ranked because of this. I, I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I'm not trying to complain, but the fact is I was on a record run and I could have gotten a few thousand more points and thus I was deprived of possibly 20 rubies as a result of this one glitch. So I've written support and guys write support about all of these things, put in customer support uh, for any of these issues that mean something to you. And let's get the feedback going into the developers for year two. So they know what's most important to the players to fix. We really need to fix this basic glitch about the super horn. There's a couple other little glitches. Like when it goes to the all clear pipe, I don't love that it just like snaps in without like a fade in. That seems a little sloppy. Just make that little fade in on the all clear pipe. Just do that for me. Do me a solid. That would make me feel better. That's not one of my things on the list, but I just have to throw that out there. Also, when you're going for multiplayer coins, you know, you're going for 100 as you're in the lobby and sometimes it will uh, lose your tally if your connection's bad. Yeah, I know that's an internet issue, but is there anything we could do about this to make it less frustrating to collect these 100 multiplayer coins? I don't know, you guys uh, in the dev team, let us know if you can help with that as well. Speaking of multiplayer, number three, I guess we do have to address multiplayer just because a lot of people have been saying this. I, I'm a little on the fence about this. A lot of people say just multiplayer sucks, fix multiplayer. Again, I don't really know what you're saying there. Um, yes, it is glitchy sometimes. You can see players jumping around and it's hard. Uh, I get that it's hard racing against real people. I don't know what you want them to do about that. Uh, there might be glitches that they can improve on when it comes to uh, how the whole system works in their network and how the game is designed, perhaps. But, you know, for me, like what would make multiplayer cooler is to have like a lobby where um, you have like a tally after four or five races and you earn points based on each one. Like it always has been with multiplayer and Mario Kart. Make it more of a game with points uh, where you can play with your friends and it's not just like an endless, like, okay, over and over and over with no real outcome or like awards ceremony at the end. I think that would be cool for multiplayer. I don't know, there's a lot of people who love multiplayer and think it's fine as it is. I know um, some people on our Discord, for example, I've had not much trouble with multiplayer. I got up to S plus one. I didn't think it was that difficult. It took some grinding and some work, but it was a fun challenge. I mean, it's playing against real people. It's gonna be hard. So I don't really know what else to say other than like, this is just a generic uh, item for like improving multiplayer, if you can. Um, just you guys take it from there, I guess. Um, I do think we need multiplayer challenges to continue. I'll say that much. And we'll be talking about challenges a little bit more, of course, later in just a few minutes. But the problem with multiplayer challenges is that they just stop after A grade. Like you don't even have S grade, S plus one, S plus two. These are grades in multiplayer that there's no reward for. And also these are only two and three rubies each and then we get 30 rubies. I mean, can we have a second page of multiplayer challenges, please at least as while we're talking about multiplayer, that would be great. All right, number four, now we're getting into some big ones opening up new tiers and new player levels. All right, let's talk about these one at a time. They went up to player level 150. Um, so far, people are still climbing to that. So 
I wouldn't say we're due for opening up to tier to player level 200 like right now, but I think like sometime before maybe uh, around New Year's maybe we could open up to tier uh, player level 200, possibly. Uh, everyone's still catching up, so we're not due quite on that just yet. What we are due on is tiers. I've talked about this before, but this is a big problem. It's a big problem for ranked cup. Here's what happened. They had to tier like uh, 30 or whatever it was, tier 40. Yeah, it was to tier 40. And, you know, they didn't open up to tier 50 until like over six months into the game. So what happened is everyone caught up and everyone got to tier 40. And then when they opened it up to tier 50, everyone, all the top players jumped up at the same pace. So to make matters worse, you have the top three and ranked all uh, advancing, at least before uh, tier 50, I think you did. If we had the tiers um, continuing, opening up past tier 50, and there was a update to how this was done and how the rewards and how the tiering up worked. Okay, let's, let's just talk about this then. My next one, number five, is fixing the Ruby rewards and the tiering up uh, format. So what we need is for, first of all, we have 40 rubies for number one, then we have 20 rubies. First of all, when you're in tier 50, you should probably get 50 rubies. Um, have you ever thought about the fact that with all your ranked cup work, all the hours you put into grinding at these top tiers, playing with the top people in the world, you only get 40 rubies, which was not even enough for one 10 pull. Just think about that for a second. It's not even 45 rubies. Don't you think you should at least get enough to get one 10 pull? for winning ranked. Just saying, we need to maybe have it be 50 rubies as you get past tier 50. Now, I don't know where this goes. I get that this could balloon out of control. And if the game goes on and on and on, we're gonna have tier 300 at some point and you're getting like, oh, I don't know how that's gonna work. So they're obviously taking it one step at a time as they see how this game goes and how it grows. And maybe this game has grown way faster. Uh, maybe the fan base has been a lot bigger than they thought it would be. It's not like the biggest success uh, as a mobile game. And there's a lot of people who still don't play it. I think it has maybe grown at a rate that they weren't quite expecting and they're kind of catching up in some regards, plus COVID. COVID did stall them out on some of the development, I'm pretty sure just like anything else. But instead of in this case for 40 for number one and then 20 for number two, couldn't it be a little bit more split where you get 40 for number one and then 30 rubies for number two and then uh, 20 rubies for number three? Right now, between third and fourth, it's only a five ruby difference. If you're like struggling to get in the top three, there's not much incentive to get into the higher tier and get that extra five rubies because you're tearing up against higher competitive players why would you want to do that, right? Why would you want your next week just to be harder? There's a disconnect in the developers not understanding the player's mindset here, where we really need an incentive to go for that top three. And if the Ruby rewards were a little bit more reasonable and balanced there, not quite so spread out. It's like the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. That's you know how things are, <laughs> at least in America, but I uh, digress. But anyway, we go into here and we make it a little more balanced. That could be a real big game changer for ranked. And that would be my number five, adjusting the Ruby rankings and also adjusting how the tier up works. Maybe only the number one player goes up a tier. That would make sense to me because Sometimes you are paired with a whale who's got like 10,000 more points than you would ever be able to catch. And we would like to see that whale go up to the next tier to play with the other whales, right? And then at number two, we're still safe. We stay in our tier. We don't have to get in the top three to tier up and vice versa. So like you might lose to big players and still in the top three, yet you still have to tier up. It's pretty annoying. All right, this leads me to number six. It's challenge pages. Um, this is a little bit borderline. This is more like something I really want to see. Uh, but if you really think about it, it really does need fixing. Uh, and let me tell you why. So we start off the game with standard challenges 1-1 one, one to 1-5. One, and then we had standard challenges 2-1 two, to 2-5. And these were unlocked from the beginning. You get rubies for each. And then when you clear a whole page, in addition to coin bingos, you get a bundle of rubies for completing the whole page. Now, these started going into things like collect 30 different drivers, carts or gliders, get first place 500 times. Some of these were grindy. Uh, but then we also have, look at this, reach player level 40 reach tier 30. And then in page five, it's reach player level 50, reach tier 40. 
what's wrong with this picture? Well, the most recent player level challenge is for level 50, and we've gone up to 150. There are no rewards for anywhere between player level 50 and 150. Level 60, 78, 100. Level 100 does not get you a challenge unlock. For tiers, we have 40 to 50, and we don't have a reach tier 50 challenge. It is screamingly obvious at this point that we need challenges 3-1 to 3-5 and 4-1 to 4-5. Now, I'm really hoping that anniversary would be the perfect time to do this. Again, we started year one with challenges one and two. We could start year two with challenges three and four. I mean, here's the problem though. Once you open up those challenges and let's say it's uh, see, so again, here the last thing is collect 50 different carts or gliders. So let's say it's collect 75 different carts or gliders. Well, everyone who's been playing ever since is going to unlock all these challenges instantly. So there's a good and the bad, right? Like in a way, like <laughs> uh, if they do make these new challenges, a player like me will unlock the entire page instantly. This is why they should have done this a while ago so that it's more of like a, a game uh, where you're actually trying to get these challenges. If they do the challenges according to how they've done them and they unlock three and four for these pages, we're gonna all unlock them instantly. If you're a new player, it'll be great because you'll have a continued way to get rubies. But what these challenge pages did was they gave you that continual way to get rubies. Like you always have a goal of like, oh man, maybe in a few weeks I can I can hit this and I'm gonna get uh, the 30 rubies from that. I can actually count on that. It's like a way to get rubies other than ranked cup and some basic daily logins. So we really need these new challenge pages, and not just because I want them, because it just makes sense. It's like, have you guys abandoned this game? I, it's unclear. What is? What was your goal here for the challenges? We have to assume that you were going to do more and it's long overdue, so let's get it going. While I'm at it, they really should be adding better or more expert challenges too. I'm, I'm sorry to complain, but I talked about this when I was predicting expert challenges. There are so many better ways we can do expert challenges. We could have them be in the daily challenges. There could be a harder one every day for one star there could, or a ruby. There could be in each bonus challenge an extra threshold for expert level. That would make all these bonus challenges in the cups like Goomba Takedown. These are all so easy. Now, maybe if you're a week one player, they're not as easy. Okay, I understand and sympathize. But believe me, if you're just starting the game, pretty soon for you, these are going to be really easy. And it would be cool to have an expert tier to unlock a little bit more here. For example, you have to defeat every Goomba and then you get the expert challenge. But at least make a second page of expert challenges here. We've had two rounds now and they're all basically really grindy. They're not expert challenges, uh, I'm afraid to say. Would love to see that improved in year two, but that's a side note. Okay, now for another big one, tier matching. When I asked all y'all about the biggest problems with Mario Kart Tour that need fixing, unanimously, the most common issue has been tier matching in Ranked Cup. And here's the deal. When they talk about the fine print of Ranked Cup, they say explicitly, you may not be matched with people in your same tier and that they try to match you with people of the same level or whatever, generically. But the reality is you do not get matched with people in your tier. You could be in the tier 30s, the high 30s, and be matched with a tier 50 player. Likewise, you could be in tier 50 and be matched with a tier 34 player. It's really all over the place. It makes the game unfair. I guess that means that we spend more money. And so if that's all that y'all are going for, Nintendo and DNA, fair enough. You know, you got people spending money and we need people spending money. I've spent money. Um, nothing wrong with supporting a game that is fun to play. However, we are supporting this game and this is the number one fan um, issue we'd love to see addressed. To us, it makes sense that if you could just be matched with people at least in your tier. So you're in tier 38, you only get matched with tier 38 players. I don't buy that there aren't enough tier 38 players to fill the rosters of your groups. I'm sure there are. And I just think that this would still allow for quite a range of players in each tier. And it's not like people would not be spending money. I don't know that the only way to get people to spend money and buy rubies and packs is to put them against whales. Because what happens when you're mashed against a really top whale is that 
you just don't want to spend the rubies. You don't, it, it makes you mad. It makes a player mad. It makes them not want to play. Um, so it's discouraging actually to the gameplay and to the enjoyment of the game when it's so unbalanced. So if we could just only be matched with people in our tier, I think it would solve a lot of the problems. You guys agree? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments. DNA Nintendo, if you're listening, just do it, please. Give it a try at least, see how it goes. All right, we got three more to go, three more little things. And we got the big ones out of the way. Those are obviously the most pressing issues. But what I would love to see is a, a fix to the friend list right now. <laughs> not only can you not add um, more than 50 friends, and for someone like me, uh, it would be great to open up the pit crew to more than 50 friends. Could we get 100? Uh, can the game handle that? I don't know. I'm not a developer. I don't know if the game can handle that. I would like to think it could. So that would be amazing. Opening up to 100 friends, that would be great. And when you're going to add friends, once you start getting backed up, I used to have this problem, and then I guess I still do. Shiny also has this problem. You can't see the friends in order that they came in. And once you get past this certain amount, uh, it starts glitching out. You can't see their names or their badges. It's really bad. So this has been happening this whole past year. So I would love it if someone at the dev team, if you got time in your schedule, could take a look at the friend issue and try to fix the glitchiness of the ad friends and ask your manager if it's possible to add 100 friends. I think it'd be awesome. And then two little UI things that I think would be, uh, this is more like things I do think would add so much to the game. They're not exactly problems, but when you start thinking about it, it's pretty obvious that, that this should be there. And like the fact that it's not is a little bit strange. This one's so obvious you guys are all gonna be like, oh my gosh, yes, it's st staring us right in the face. We should be able to click on any of these tracks for a driver, boom, click the track and we see the top shelves. We see the three loadouts for drivers, carts, and gliders on this track. It would be great. I mean, I guess they're, without doing this, keeping us in the dark a little bit and making us have to go to, you know, Mario Kart Tour, Wikipedia, and all this stuff and go online and try to figure out uh, what the loadouts are for each track. But just the fact that you can click around a lot and they've added some nice UI updates over the past year for sure, where you can um, click on your competitors' um, scores and see their loadouts, for example. I would love to be able to click the tracks and just see everything for that track. So each of these thumbnails would become clickable and we see the loadouts for all these tracks. What do y'all think? Lastly, I would love when you click on one of these tracks to see your best time and your best score, particularly your best score, because we're not talking about time trials, although we really should have time trials, maybe in year three, we can push for that. But it would be awesome to see your highest score. Um, again, I don't know if it's possible to save all that data and keep it in the game. I don't know if that's too much to ask. I'm not a developer but it would be amazing when you're going for your ranked cup runs to just see your personal best um, and what you did that with, what kind of loadout you did your personal best with. It would just look like a normal ranked cup score um, and it would show you what you've done. This would be huge for the fans, the players. Um, that's my final one, guys. So there we have it. 10 things that need fixing in year two. Do you think we're gonna get any of these things? I'll say this much. If another year goes by and a good number of these things aren't addressed in some way, we're gonna have a problem. It's, it's some of these things are, are really needed. Um, the ranked cup, especially, I mean, I'll, I'm still playing, I'm still gonna play, but fixing tier matching, adding more challenges, ways to get rubies. These are pretty big things that have been a little bit overdue in the game. And I hope that as DNA and Nintendo get back to work on the game after Corona, um, we can see some of these changes implemented for a really great year two of Mario Kart Tour. I'm sticking by this game, have since day one. Um, there's just, and they've made a lot of amazing changes this past year, real great improvements to the game. I loved Mankalore's video about looking back on the game after one year and kind of like talking to the haters and saying, hey, they addressed a lot of the issues. Now let's go into the next level 
get some of these even bigger issues that are really hard for the players to hang in with in some cases. Fix the super horn glitch like tomorrow, like today, yesterday. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, leave a like on this video if you support DNA and to know what they've done and want to see some great changes made in year two. We can't wait for anniversary. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if it's your first time to Cart Life and you want to see more stuff like this. I love this game, but I also want to hold it accountable and be realistic while dreaming big for some cool things that could happen. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Let me know in the comments below your biggest fixes you would love to see in year two. And I hope I've represented the fans and the community well with this list and not talking about unrealistic things, but some things that really do just need addressing that we've been asking for for a long time. So with that, we will see you for the anniversary tour reveal. I cannot wait. It's the longest week wait in Mario Kart tour so far. Can't wait. We'll see y'all in the anniversary. Y'all take care, stay home, be safe, be kind to one another. I will see you soon. Peace.